What's up, Next Gen Leaders? This is video number three in the How to Produce Your Podcast video series. So today we're gonna be talking about one of the most important things, which is how to market it, how to get it out there to the world, okay? Now, before we really go into marketing and how do we market the podcast, I wanna go into overall philosophy, okay? Your overall philosophy will allow you to create your game plan. Once you got a game plan, now we can create a playbook. Now we got a playbook, now we can execute the play. Everyone starts at the playbook and the plays. Okay, and that's why they're not as successful as they can be is because sometimes we're not operating from a philosophy that's actually gonna help that playbook and those plays win, okay? Does this make sense? All right, I'm a fo- I, I love football, so I always try to make analogies you know, back to sports, which if you're, if you're been watching any of my stuff, you probably love sports too. If not, hopefully this is all making sense, but what is marketing? Okay. So let, let's talk about what is marketing. Let's talk about what marketing isn't. Okay. Before we talk about what marketing is. Okay. Marketing. Okay. We tend to place a lot of emphasis on ourselves. Hey, here's why I'm so great. Hey, here's why you should listen to me. Hey, here's you know why I'm better. And so marketing is not okay about you. It's not for you. Okay, it can be about about you as long as it's forward focusing. And we'll get to that in a second. What is marketing? But marketing, it's it's not about you. And sometimes that's why we feel like we're not good enough at the end of the day is because we're trying to prove to people how great we are, how awesome we are. So if people don't buy it or buy your po- your your services, your products, or listen to your podcast, we start to take it personal and it starts to beat down our confidence, okay? So it's not about you. It's not just about getting out information, okay? Like we were saying last time, anyone can get information. We are in the information, we're, we're past the information age, guys. Okay, information is everywhere. Now it's like, okay, how do we know that your information is even right? How do we know we should even listen to you? Okay, and then the last one is marketing is not trying to sell people. Okay, when we don't understand the game of marketing, we start to sell people. We start to give out information and we start to talk about ourselves. And I mean, it's better than nothing at all, but operating from this type of philosophy is never gonna get the results that that we want. Okay, so what is marketing? So let's talk about this. Marketing, okay, is about influence, okay? It's about your listeners. It's about the people you're actually trying to serve, okay? What are you trying to do, okay? You're not trying to give them information. You're trying to empower them. Okay, you're trying to give them the personal power that they feel like they can go off and do bigger and better things out in the world. Okay, and that's your goal. Not making about you, not just giving out information. Okay, we should be empowering people. Okay, and the last one, instead of asking for money, because when people don't understand the game of marketing, they start selling. People don't like to be sold, they love to buy. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. People don't like to be sold, they love to buy though, all right? So the goal in order to get them to feel like they're buying rather than being sold is to give, okay? And that's what the podcast is all about. It's about to influence, it's about empowering, and it's about giving, okay? That's what marketing is all about. Now we're in the game, okay? Now we're gonna start getting in the game. So let's go over another main philosophy, okay? At the end of the day, you know, we want to be more of a lighthouse versus a tugboat, okay? A lighthouse can help and shine its light and help more boats than an actual tugboat can. They say the biggest tugboats in the world can actually only drag like three to four boats at a time, okay? We want to be a lighthouse. I'm selling this from my wife's playbook. Don't tell her that I helped her in branding this. Our little secret. But she does amazing at sharing this. She talks about this event. So I want to talk about this, you know, real quick. The, and this is the reason why a podcast is so beneficial for you is it allows you to amplify the message. It allows you to get out a message to start impacting and influencing way more people rather than just one person at a time, right? If I create a podcast, okay, that's not just serving one person. I can serve that infinite amount of times, okay? If I'm just direct messaging one person or I'm just talking to one person at a time, Okay, I'm a tugboat, 
And this is why most people never scale their marketing is because they're being the tugboat and not the lighthouse. All right. And then this is where people start to fail even when doing a podcast. So they create a podcast. They go, okay, you're right, Travis. I need to get my message out to the world. So they create a podcast and then that's the only thing that they do. Okay. Let's create a podcast, but let's see how many different ways we can chop up that podcast and start to deliver it to multiple different channels. Okay, you'd be ha you would have to have been living under a rock for the last couple of years, okay, to to understand that video reels is where it's at. Okay, little short videos. And so that's one thing that you can do with your podcast to be a lighthouse is you can do video reels. Okay, I love Joe Rogan's podcast, but to be honest with you, his podcasts are so damn long. And so I have a hard time listening to all the little um, chitty chat, I guess you get all the clutter in between, but what I enjoy more is going on YouTube, okay, and listening to some of the short, shorter segments. So you can start to chop up some of your content, okay, for YouTube. Okay, so we got video reels. You can also chop them up into little segments and use them for your stories on your different social medias. Okay, stories for your YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, those four you should be cross promoting across all those platforms. Okay, you could be cutting off these podcasts and using them as required listening for your clients that work with you. Okay, you can cut them up and put a picture to it and just put a sound bite to it and put it on Facebook or again, YouTube, if you don't wanna create an actual video. So there's so many different things that you could be doing with these segments. So the goal, okay, is to ask yourself, how do I keep utilizing this content? How do I cut this content up and deliver it across multiple channels? Okay, how do I be more of a lighthouse? That's the question you should always be asking yourself. How do I shine my light more? How do I get my message more out to the world? All right, a lot of people, they try to go into so many different things at once. In reality, they need to stick to one, and then we need to start cutting off that one into multiple different things, okay? So the goal would be, okay, my podcast, what other things am I gonna focus on, okay? And I think the easiest three things to focus on is video reels, putting it together in a YouTube, okay? And then lastly, using, and the video reels could also be used as a story as cutting up and use them as a stories, all right? If you're interested in learning about how to market your video or maybe you just need the right team to get this out there, okay? The link is below, click that. We can schedule a short strategy session. There's no obligations. Okay, there's no sales pitch. Let's really look at where you are at in the podcast process, where you wanna go in the podcast process, what do you wanna achieve, what you want your marketing to do to fill your other programs and get clients. Okay, so if you're interested in a podcast strategy session, okay, click the link below and let's talk about that, okay? We got one more video in the video series. The last one is gonna be how to build a powerful network. I've been able to connect with some awesome people um, in podcasting, so how do we actually connect people um, on the podcast? How do we get uh, awesome guests? Uh, how do we approach those? What, what do we do, okay? Everything around that, so that's what we're gonna be talking about in the next podcast, okay? Be inspired in what you're doing. Be next gen. As always, the world needs you. Good talk.